right, so in this video we're going to talk about uh, the units of physics that we're going to be using the most. Uh, and it's going to be a very basic introduction. I'm just going to talk about the, the main uh, measures that we use to solve our problems and also the prefixes that you must know for units. And then we'll do one example or two. So first, uh, length is going to be denoted pretty much in meters by the letter M, unless I specify otherwise. Mass is just going to be in kilograms most of the time. And we'll just use the key, uh, the KJ, KG I mean, uh, and then we have time. And that'll be in seconds most of the time. So the prefixes you must know also or be familiar with, I'm just going to write the abbreviations. So prefixes are the following. So for mega, we'll just use a big M. This is 10 to the 6th power. Then we have the kilo, which is big K. And that'll be 10 to the 3rd. Then we have a cent or just a C, and that will be 10 to the negative second. We have milli, and that will be little m, or lowercase m, and that will be 10 to the negative third. Micro, we'll use mu, and that will be 10 to the negative six. And we have nano. And that would be 10 to the negative ninth. You must be familiar with these. Uh, I mean, most books have charts on these, but you'll use them um, sometimes here and there. So I'm going to clear the page so we can do one or two problems of conversions. So the first question here is how many centimeter squares are in meter squares? So to solve this, uh, we first write... Our second uh, parameter here says it's one meter. And we know that in one meter there are 100 centimeters. We know this by our textbook charge, just by knowing that in one meter the big meter stick that you know has 100 pitot lines or 100 centimeters. So what we'll do, since the problem is talking about squared values, we'll square both sides. So we'll square the left side. And we'll also square this side, the right side. Oops, forgot my, let me erase this. CM square. So once we square the left side, we'll get one meter squared. Once we left, uh, we square the right side, we'll get 10 to the fourth power CM square. And that'll be essentially how many meter squares are in, uh, and centimeter squares, or the other way around, how many centimeter squares are in meter squares? Here we have a similar problem. How many centimeter cube are in meter cube? So we'll do the same thing. We'll write our our one meter equals from our previous problem ten square cm. So we can cube. Both sides here on the left side we'll get one meter cube. On the right side we'll just distribute that by multiplying properties of exponents. We'll get 10 to the sixth cm cube, and that would essentially be our our solution. You have problems like this um, on chapter one of your physics class. They probably would not emphasize a lot of this. They're just familiar with your basic measurements and be able to convert back and forth. Uh, some problems will require you to do some conversions, but at least be familiar with how to do it and you'll get the hang of it as you do more problems. All right, see you in the next video.